Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode is brought to you by Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Save time and money no matter what you ship or mail with Send Pro Online software. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates for as low as $4.99 a month. Try it free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 493. In today's episode, Flexa will let you shop retailers with Bitcoin. Up until recently, cryptocurrency was typically used strictly for investment purposes. Now, legally, there are only a few spending options allowed with Bitcoin, but finding a place in the real world to use Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency is really hard to come by. Now there's Flexa to help you spend that sweet, sweet Bitcoin. Flexa is a digital payment network startup based in New York City that's revolutionizing commerce through cryptocurrency payments. Flexa has established a network and launched an iOS wallet app called Spedden, it's S-P-E-D-N, I swear I didn't mispronounce that, that allows you to spend cryptocurrencies at brick and mortar retailers. So the Spedden net creates a barcode that allows cashiers to scan it at checkout. The good thing is the merchant immediately receives payment in cash and the equivalent amount of cryptocurrency is taken from your cryptocurrency wallet in the app. Spedden net works with Bitcoin, Gemini, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum currencies. Retailers don't need to do anything crazy to adopt to this app. They only need to configure their scanners to read the Spedden codes. Flexa uses its own cryptocurrency, Flexacoin, to secure each transaction before it's approved by the originating coins network. The Flexa network protocol works as an intermediary for each payment. It pays the merchant in cash, then goes through the slower process of taking payment from your cryptocurrency wallet. The Spedden app is available for download in the iTunes App Store and coming soon for Android. Flexa. Not Alexa, Flexa. Oh, wait, I get it. Because you're going to spend in your Bitcoin. Spend in your, because you don't hodl them, you spend in them. You hodl or you sped in, right? Did I get that right? Did I get that right, bro? You either hold or spend. Get it? Hold or spend. I got it. Actually, this is is pretty cool. Um, And I think it's something that's going to have well i don't know if it's going to help with the adoption of bitcoin but i think people will at least be able to spend what they have instead of just looking at a bar chart going up and down and going i don't know what to do <laughs> <laughs> right they're gonna oh, where, where what did i do, do I take it <laughs> well, out or? yeah like a year ago it's like yeah look at all the bitcoin i got and then it's like you know six months ago it's like oh i'm thunder water in my bitcoin and then i don't talk <laughs> i don't talk about bitcoin yeah I might still have five dollars of Bitcoin. I have a little floating around somewhere, and I use that Lolly app. I think I have point oh seven five two point nine of, of one Bitcoin. <laughs> in the Lolly app. Yeah, this is good. I mean, I, I think you're going to see more and more people trying to come up with ways to spend their money. I um, yeah, I think it's a great idea. And if you go look, the app is is pretty. It's a very nicely designed app. The key would be getting the merchants to sign on, but uh, it doesn't really, I, I mean, I don't really know how hard it is to configure, but if merchants can accept another another payment method without jumping through a lot of hoops, it'd be pretty silly if they didn't. Yeah, the problem with on the merchant side is that, you know, it, it depends when you close that transaction is what the cost is, right? So it's not one-to-one, right? So like, say this hour, you the product is six Bitcoin, just mm-hmm. or 10 bitcoin right but by the time you cash like cash it in it's nine and a half right so where's that half 
Yeah, that's always been the problem with, especially when you're trying to start up some kind of payment gateway like this. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. I guess, I guess my question is: so Flexa is taking some sort of risk here, correct? Or yeah, uh, I mean, f- unless they're they're taking it, unless they're selling the Bitcoin at whatever the price it is to match it up to what that is. like. There's there's definitely a lot of logistics on the back end. Yeah, because the, again, there's got to be some sort of loss. Some, somebody's losing money somewhere. And I think the only way that this could work is if the merchant doesn't lose any money. If the merchant's getting paid right away for whatever the, pr- the for whatever retail price he's charging, then he's a happy guy. He doesn't care what happens on the back end. Right. If you're if right, but if if they're losing the money, they're never going to do it, and that's the biggest thing for them. Right. Exactly. So right now, thirty thousand four hundred seventy-five retailers accept Flex of payment. That's obviously as as of the date of this uh, recording. We don't know what that actual number is now. I'm sure it's a little higher. So you got, you know, it's still small. It's still coming out of the gate. I'd be interested to see this thing take off because while Bitcoin is still a little bit of a head scratcher to a lot of people, I like following it because I like to see how it dovetails with retail and e-commerce. And we've seen some kind of, we've seen a few methods come and go where people try to implement some sort of payment method via Bitcoin. Uh Nothing's really taken off, but this this looks promising, but hey, we could check back six months from now and, and kind of see where it's at. And see crickets on it. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know with Bitcoin. You know, never, never invest in what you think you might lose. And Bitcoin is right there. It's that time. About 4.68% of millennials have invested in cryptocurrencies of some kind. However, the figure is 27 for Gen Xers and 1.58% for baby boomers. And Bitcoin itself dominates about one third of the cryptocurrency market. I thought there'd be more, but there are so many coins out there. It is hard to say. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our sponsor, Sempro Online from Pitney Bowes. Stop wasting time waiting in line at the post office to send mail and packages. Avoid all the confusion trying to find the best postal rates for your business. With Sempro Online from Pitney Bowes, you can send packages and mail without leaving your office right from your desk as low as four ninety nine a month. You save time and money no matter what you send from letters to package to overnight. Starting at only four ninety nine a month, you can print shipping labels, stamps right from your printer. You easily compare rates using the online software. Gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. Plus track all your shipments and get email notifications when they're arrived. And for being an e-commerce man and listener, you receive free 30-day trial to get started. As an added bonus, you have also received a free 10-pound scale ship right to your door to help you accurately weigh your packages. Go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer and get free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with free trial for Simper Online from Pitney Bowes. Last year alone, $90 million was spent on credit card processing fees. Yeah. Cryptocurrency apps eliminate such fees. So if you're looking for what's the reason behind all this, there you go. No yeah. fees. That's Well, that's always been the... The, the sly appeal of Bitcoin because it's not regulated and it's open and all that other kind of stuff. But just wait, it's going to get regulated and so well, when there's enough money involved, everything gets regulated in one way or another. So, well, you know, or you have a guy who started a, a full market, full Bitcoin or whatever, or cryptocurrency thing. And then he died and he was the only one that had a password. Yeah. The guy with the password. That was, <laughs> that was sadly hilarious. Or you get these guys that they do, they just say, oh, we're starting a coin, a coin fund. They raise money and then, oops, there he goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. He went back to wherever he came from and we never found him ever again. The end. Each day, $9 million worth of cryptocurrencies are lost in scams. And Litecoin might just be the next digital currency to be supported on Spedden since it's the fifth used cryptocurrency. So we'll see what happens anything else bart uh, that's it my friends all right that's your e-commerce minute for today we'll see you on the internet tomorrow that's it for today's show if you like the show do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on itunes and don't forget you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your amazon device just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing and finally if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi Find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.